Oh, this is the one I punched you in the face for. Yeah, yeah, this is a fun one. A spin, spin move. move. <laughs> Yeah, I like the finisher on that. Welcome to Gameology, experts try, kingdom come deliverance. I'm gonna pretend to be medieval bohemian killers. I think you've done that as a job though. Uh, a little bit, Yeah, a little, little bit. I'm Paul Suda, I'm a HEMA instructor. I've been doing HEMA for about 15 years. Ex-Medieval Times, ex-competitive jouster. And I'm Drew Curtis, stuntman and actor and HEMA sword fighter. I've been doing stunts and sword fighting for over 10 years as well, being thrown through things, the usual stuff like that. And kingdom come on a journey with us as we do <laughs> sword fighting. <laughs> So definitely a few failed attempts to getting in there and then finally getting the whip around for the attack to follow through. I'm not sure I would try a thrust that many times in a row. I think it's drawing the opponent out, kind of doing a few things you don't necessarily mean to follow through with your legs, and then when they, when they take the bait, cut around. Mm -hmm. Yeah, same thing, it's a fake out. It was, okay, block this, block this, cut around it. Or rather, cut over it into their face. And if this was Monty Python, I would make a noise of whoop, a whoop. What am I talking about? <laughs> <laughs> It's a good chain of attacks to keep them on the off balance and backing up. They may block the first couple and then it allows you to get in there with that final thrust. And especially when you change the height of your thrusts up here and then you're down low where they weren't expecting it. I appreciate that in this game you can do those draw cuts too. It's not just cut or stab, it's set and drag this, the blade over the area. That's really smart. Yeah, again, going for different openings, and they finally commit, just shunt their sword aside and, you know, bash him in the head with the pommel of the sword. Palm strikes are the best. Yeah. I, really, I like working it, kind of, kind of carving one's way in until you're close enough to really do that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like the finisher on that. And it's a good job of animating of your kind of shunting the sword and deflecting it just enough to get in there for the thrust into the abdomen. See, that's tricky because again, the, it was that final fake out it had to be kind of cutting around it as opposed to sticking to it. So you had to be really clear that, oh, this person's energy is going this other direction. I'm safe, I can cut around and hit them. Right. I really enjoy shield play. <laughs> it's just so dynamic and brutal looking, especially if you can get theirs out of the way in this move, enough to where you can come closer in for that bash in the face. Yeah, it was a block into a winding into a thrust. The leverage changes and boom. They stuck in there too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, it looks like, again, it looks like they're sparring in this. Like, it's, you're not seeing the blood flying out of them. It was just shoving you away. It's obvious you've got the worst of this exchange. I like that one. <laughs> yeah. I love the, the deflection and the shunt off, which also is bringing them in and then just hitting them over and over. Yeah, and it flows nicely. It's like, mm -hmm. you know, you block and then the pommel's right it's there. right there already, yeah. Ready in the chamber to go. One wasn't enough, two wasn't <laughs> enough. The third one was. <laughs> Yeah, it's that kind of blocking close, having the leverage, and then just slamming right back at them. The Germans like winding. They do. And Sverchows. <laughs> I shouldn't do the accent. <laughs> ah! 
smart. Yeah, it's a good reminder that you gotta have that other hand engaged. You know, some actors that pick up the sword in movies and they just, their hand hangs down. You gotta keep it up for this very moment. If they get in, you can use it to push their weapon out of the way and then you have complete control of them. And especially if you keep contact in the arm and you know exactly where they are even if you're not looking at them. Yeah, the information you get from touch is so much faster and more accurate than what you see. It was pretty straightforward. You can knock it down, hit him in the face. Right. Not sparring in this one. I did see blood. <laughs> yeah, it looked like it hurt. I like this one too, because you're staying engaged with the shield. You're keeping contact, which means you have control of the fight. I would have probably followed it up with another strike around the shield as you have him pinned in. And I appreciate again the, the kind of defend with the sword first, tie up with the shield. But yeah, I'm with you. Cutting around would have been obvious. A spin, spin move. move. <laughs> Again, not, not as silly in this context, because in this context, the idea was tying up his weapon and then actually like going back to back, turning around him and then bonking him on the head. It's still pretty dang risky, but if it's your back to his back, there's no threat. Well, and you're getting a good visual too. Since this is in first person, you're getting the more of an experience of what a spin move will be looking like from it's your like, own. What? As opposed to third person fighting, you can see still everything. Sure. And shout out to the other guy who switched his stance. It didn't help him. Eh. <laughs> Oh, this is the one I punched you in the face for. Yeah, yeah, this is a fun one. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good animatic of the, the shunt with the cross guard, which gets their weapon completely out of the way for the demoralizing punch to the face, which will hurt even more if there's a gauntlet on. Fair enough. Kingdom Come, much more realistic style dueling game than like more of the bombastic. Yeah, I particularly like kind of being able to draw the opponent out and then finish them off. In real life, you do first person a lot. Yes, real life is first person. <laughs> but not in video games, so that was a fun thing to try out. Follow Gameology on YouTube and Facebook. I'm Drew Curtis at Benjamin Pike Series on Instagram. I'm Paul Suda at actor Paul Suda on Instagram. Kingdom Come on back now, you hear? Oh. <laughs> yeah. I'd be interested to try it out. Just like in life, you're first person. Yeah. It's deep. Oh! All right. I've just that. been fired. <laughs>